So you probably know this, and the reason why you're watching this video is that the Cub Cadet uh, Ultima ZT1s apparently do not come with an hour meter, but you can actually see an indention where it belongs. So I'm gonna show you how to install one, and there's a link to this part down in the description. It's an hour meter and service minder, so it will remind you when services are due. Very important part of owning a zero turn mower. I also recently made a video on installing this washout port. So if you need to do that to yours as well, check out this link up here. So there are just four of these eight millimeter bolts around the corners. So just to remove all four of these. Once all four are removed, this cover uh, just comes off and you can see all of the wiring down here. Now you can see under here is a blank that actually has the cable plugged into it. When you remove it, you can see that it is three pins and it's gonna go into the uh, same spot as our new one over here. So you can see our new one has three pins. Interesting, it's got a little silicone packet in the case to keep moisture out. And to get our old one out, we're gonna need to cut a little space into here. So I'm just gonna use a box cutter to cut this off. So to remove it, you're gonna press these things in and press it up into the top. So if you do that, it will raise this sticker up some and you can actually feel where the ridge of it is. And that's what I'm gonna cut on the top of this ridge. So I wanna kinda of make it as flush as I can with the new one. So. Right around here. All right, now I'm gonna just disconnect this and press this all the way up. It's gonna pop out. All right, now we have a nice hole for the new one. So it turns out the blank is, uh, was kind of installed upside down. You want this part to be near the inside of your mower when you snap it in here and and you're gonna plug this up like this. So that when you turn it on, it's gonna come up first, it's gonna tell you your battery voltage, which is nice, so it's 12.0, and then it's gonna show you the hours. So there's no hours right now, but any time that it is in the on position, whether or not your mower is running, it's gonna be uh, counting hours. So don't leave it like this because then you'll have an inaccurate count and also you'll be running down battery, of course. Makes me uh, want to be wary of buying these used because somebody could just put a new one in an old mower and it would show a lot fewer hours on it than there should be. So here's our blank. It's got the rest of our sticker on it. Now, if you have a better idea of, I don't know, how to make this look better and uh, save more of that to go underneath the edges, it would make it look a lot nicer. Please leave some comments uh, below to help some people out. But as far as I know, that's how you're supposed to do it. So one thing I find very interesting is uh, when you turn this on, this is gonna come up and say that we have zero hours, which of course it only can know since it's been plugged in, there is no memory in the mower. The memory is in this module itself. So and this thing comes with a little sheet of instructions. It tells you that the LCD, when it says CHG, that means it's time to change the oil. And then it'll say, well, I guess it'll scroll through change oil soon. And uh, that's gonna be displayed for seven minutes once it reaches 50 hours. It'll also tell you if there is low oil pressure, but it'll say LO oil. And it points out that this does not measure the oil level. It's just the pressure. And that's only if yours is equipped with an oil pressure switch. It'll also tell you if there is a low battery, L-O-B-A-T-T, -T, and it, it will show you this if the voltage drops below 11.5 volts. And it will remind you to clean your air filter. It'll say clean air filt time. And uh, for seven minutes, it will show you this. This meter was only like 50 bucks. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can get one for your mower. 
So there you have it guys, crazy easy install, and I will be showing you guys how to do the oil change once I need to do it on mine. I'll make another video, and this key is still the funniest thing I've seen in a while. Do not run over people, and you will have a happy family, I guess. So uh, please subscribe to the channel, guys. Click the little bell notification. You'll be notified when I do more work on this mower, and check out the other stuff on the channel. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next week.